Welcome to yet another goddamn ranking video. Got a beat from Kim, and she can fuck all night. When this one is over, make sure you go check out my ranking playlist and binge watch the shit out of it like you would Outer Banks. Disclaimer, you're wrong, I'm right, fuck you. At dead last, we have the San Francisco Giants. Giants fans seem to heavily dislike these jerseys and I don't blame them. The G has fog on it to resemble the San Fran fog, and the sleeves feature the Golden Gate Bridge. Which are cool features, but it still looks like somebody forgot to finish their coloring book. They just feel plain, I'm sorry Giants fans. I don't blame the Dodgers for keeping their City Connect jerseys to a minimum. They're one one of the more traditional franchises when it comes to uniforms so even this plain blue dodgers jersey is still a big leap for them and what the fuck is on those sleeves they're like is that supposed to be smoke is this supposed to be spray paint is it supposed to be mexican black tar heroin like i'm, I'm not sure I'm, i don't really know what i'm looking at cubs fans generally seem to dislike their city connect jerseys but i don't really see anything wrong with them the jersey is made to represent the neighborhoods of wrigleyville the font even curves the same way as the wrigley field sign so i'm not really sure why those ungrateful fucks known as cubs fans dislike these because Honestly, I don't have a problem with them. I like them. I don't know why, I don't know why. But I really like how the Diamondbacks went about their jersey. The desert sand color of the uniform and the recolored black logos just make for a unique design. But I think the best part about it all is that it gave Diamondbacks fans something to look forward to this year. The Marlins went with a red jersey inspired by an old minor league team, the Havana Sugar Kings, to represent the Cuban culture of Miami. These are definitely one of the better City Connect jerseys. And unfortunately for the Miami Marlins, these jerseys are the highlight of their season. The White Sox went with Southside. That sounds about right. The gray and black pattern of the jersey itself makes this one stick out. And the Southside text fits with it great. And due to being in the shittiest division in baseball this year, I cannot roast the White Sox because they are first place and they're having a decent year. Shut the fuck up. Just please shut the fuck up. Oh my god, you're a Rays fan putting the Red Sox at number one. Again, shut the fuck up. Never thought I'd be putting the Red Sox at number one for anything, but here we are. These were the first of the City Connect jerseys to be revealed, and they're supposed to represent the Boston Marriott. Marathon. Yellow and light blue is very different for the Red Sox, but the colors just look too goddamn good together. And with that being said, fuck Boston. Oh, would you look at the time? Yep, time's up. I'm gonna end this video off now, but I do want to say that I'll have a couple more ranking videos probably coming out here pretty soon, so keep your eye out for those. Make sure you leave a comment telling me how bad my ranking was compared to yours. Make sure you leave a dislike in protest of how bad my ranking was compared to yours. And make sure you subscribe for more content so you can continue to leave negative feedback in my future ranking videos. CRBG2 Make sure you go binge this shit out of my ranking playlist now. Peace.